keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Hello everyone, this video is a continuation of the previous yoga session. To begin with, we have Corpse Pose Savasana. How to do? First, lie on the back with legs straight and arms at the side. The arms should be at a minimum distance of 6 inches away from the body. Second, Keep the eyes closed and palms faced upwards. Third, keep the feet drop open. Fourth, breathe normally while resting the body's weight on the ground. Fifth, slowly exhale while relaxing and de-stressing all the body parts. This is the best relaxing yoga pose for kids. Next is chair pose Utkatasana. How to do? First, inhale and raise the arms above the head. Second, bend the knees forward while exhaling. The thighs should be parallel to the floor. Third, while performing it, the knees will project slightly ahead. Fourth, lift your arms and stretch them straight. Fifth, keep the tailbone down and the lower back long. Sixth, keep the breath steady and easy throughout. Seventh, keep the gaze forward. Eight, retain this posture for as long as comfortable but not more than a minute. Next is Hero Pose, Virasana. How to do? Sit with the knees together and the feet hip width apart. Second, sit on the heels with the heels touching the hips. Third, the hands should rest on the knees with the palms facing up. Fourth, straighten the spine and drop the shoulders down and a little towards the back. Fifth, relax the core while taking deep breaths. Sixth, retain the posture for as long as it is comfortable. Next is Boat Pose, Naukasana. How to do? First, lie down flat with feet aligned together and arms on the sides. Second, keep the arms and fingers outstretched in the direction of of the toes. Third, inhale and while exhaling, lift the chest and feet off the ground to form a V shape. Fourth, this will build tension and stretch in the core. Fifth, the weight of the body will solely rest on the hips. Sixth, the eyes, hands and toes should align straight. Seven, hold the breath and retain the posture for a few seconds. Eight, exhale slowly while bringing the body down to the neutral position and relax. Next is mountain pose, Tadasana. How to do? First, stand straight and tall. Second, spread the legs a few inches apart and spread the toes. Third, keep the arm alongside the body. Fourth, the shoulders must be relaxed and not stiff. 
Fifth, raise the arm above your head. Sixth, hold the posture and breathe slowly. Seventh, retain as long as comfortable. Next is happy baby pose. Ananda Balasana. How to do? First, lie on the back with the knees drawn in towards the chest. Second, hold the feet and hands. Ensure that the arms are in front of the torso. Third, draw the shoulders to the back. Fourth, slightly stretch the arms and feet. Fifth, draw the knees wide apart as much as comfortable. Sixth, elongate the lower back down to the ground while touching the tip of the tailbone. Seven, retain the position for a minute or less and then release. Next is Lion Pose, Simhasana. How to do? First, sit with the hips on the heels. Second, rest the palms on the knees. Third, start inhaling from the nose and while you are on it, Stick your tongue out. Fourth, keep the eyes wide open. Exhale through the mouth and make a sound of a roaring lion. Many yoga schools suggest that you either concentrate looking at the tip of the nose or in the middle of the eyebrows. Thank you and keep learning something new. Every day.